now we will see the difference between the VDRL and RPR this is a very important difference and uh, is very commonly asked in the exams and is one of the most uh, favorite questions of the examiners so one student of the microbiology should must uh, know this difference so what does that VDRL and RPR mean so VDRL means as we know already that VDRL means venereal disease research laboratory while the RPR means rapid plasma reagent test so these both of these are the uh, non-specific tests or you can say that non-treponemal tests so uh, before going to the uh, the difference between these two we should see about the slides that we use in these two different tests so in the VDRL test we see that there is a 12 ringed concave glass slide okay while in case of RPR there uh, we use a card not a glass slide and that card consists of only six wells not 12 so in VDRL we have 12 ringed glass slide uh, concave glass slides and uh, in RPR we have card for RPR in which there is six rings now coming to the first difference of the VDRL so as we have seen in the processor of the VDRL that uh, before the VDRL test we have to heat the patient serum at 56 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes to inactivate the inhibitors but in case of RPR we need not to heat the patient serum rather there the inhibitors are inactivated by the choline chloride choline chloride so this may be asked in the mcqs also that what what is the substance that is used for the inhib uh, inhibition uh, i mean for the inactivation of the in non-specific inhibitor so in rpr it is choline chloride and in vdrl we heat the patient serum at 56 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes to inactivate those non-specific inhibitors next comes the the second difference is that uh, that in VD, the VDRL takes relatively longer duration so it is a time consuming test while the RPR is a very rapid test it takes very less time roughly around 2 minutes is needed for single test so uh, it is less time consuming the third difference is that the results in case of VDRL the results can be read by naked eye okay cannot be read uh, sorry it cannot be read by the naked eye and for seeing the uh, the changes we need to uh, put the slide under low power microscope so we need to pull the uh, slide under low power microscope to see the changes so uh, we cannot read the test by naked eye but in rpr the test's result can be read by naked eye so there is no need of microscopy that is the third difference next is the fourth the uh, next the fourth difference is that the VDRL antigen that is uh, given that should be used within 24 hours of preparation you cannot keep that uh, antigen for more than 24 hours because it will uh, I mean alter the taste if we do that uh, uh, test after uh, 24 hours of the preparation of that antigen okay because there will be certain deterioration into in that uh, antigen so we cannot use uh, after 24 hours of preparation so we have to uh, we, there is a time uh, limit in which we have to uh, for which we have to use the VDRL antigen within 24 hours of preparation but there is no such case in case of RPR antigen it can be used for longer duration because the shelf life of the RPR antigen is relatively longer or higher the fifth difference is that the VDRL is less expensive test and relatively sensitive test but and relatively less sensitive test but RPR is more expensive and more sensitive than VDRL so that is also a difference between them the sixth difference is that the VDRL can be used to detect the antibody in the syphilis uh, I mean in the CSF like in case of uh, neurosyphilis so VDRL can be used for diagnosis of the neurosyphilis but the uh, RPR cannot detect the antibody in the CSF so we cannot use RPR for diagnosis of the uh, neurosyphilis the seventh and the last difference is that is that it is preferred for large sample load and the RPR is preferred for less sample load. So this is all the difference between the two tests this is all about the differences